Hi there, I'm Darrell Williams from Python Bytes. Uh, so we're continuing with this tutorial uh, using Bottle, Bottle Pi with uh, Python, uh, building a website. It's a simple website, database driven, meaning it's a dynamic website. So we will now create a route for creating a new to do task. This program is very limited in what you can do, but it's giving you the idea of how to create routes, how to pass on information to and from to the user from this simple server. Okay, and you can post data into the database that the user inputs on a form. So what we will do now is we will create a function and a route to create to-do tasks. The application is called to-do, meaning things that you want to do. And we will add those. There's nothing there to confirm, yes, I've done that. that that's a little more complicated. But uh, by doing this, this simple process, understanding routes, the communication to the bar database, from the database back to the user. Once you understand that concept, then you'll be able to build a little more complicated web applications. Uh, these are more for development rather than production, meaning uh, on the actual internet, there's a more that you need to be careful of with security, hackers and so forth. But this will give you a general idea on how Bottle works. Once you understand the concept of routes and the method of uh, requesting information, posting information, getting information from the database, it will then help you to understand Flask and to Django. Cherry Pie, I've had problems trying to understand that. I found Bottle was the easiest way to understand the concepts. Then after that you can go on to Flask and then from there if you want more complicated, more work involved to Django. But Flask is also a good uh, web framework. Okay, now what we need to do is we go to Notepad++. Uh, we can close the create script. I still have that open here from the last time we created it. Created this script to create the database. Okay, actually I'll close that too. Uh, yep, and I'll close idle won't be using that. Okay, and the, uh, the server is still running on the website, but of course if I click new we get this error because it doesn't know what new is. So what we do here is we're going to create a route. So you go at route Here we go forward slash new. Then we create a function, and the function is called new underscore task. Okay, and a column. Now also in new, we go comma, now we're giving it a method, equals, square brackets, and then in here, in caps, go get, and the other one is post. So now we're going to use get and post and they will be requests. So up here you go comma request comma 
get and post so we're importing those from bottle okay so now we have created our method and then we go next line we go if request that's why we imported request request post get and we go save comma oops yeah single quotes And after that, go strip. And then you go to do title equals request capital post get. And you go task okay so now we're using request get and post so you request post get task so we'll have a form so the title will be in the form and the forms name will be task and then the next piece of information was description DS E D E S C as in description, so we go to do D S C equals well basically we can just copy that equals that and then we go D S T C then you go to do do date time equals date time time now and yes we have to appear we have to import date time appear and we also import SQLite 3 and import sys okay so now we put a comment here connect database okay con equals sqlite dot connect there go data to do uh, to do that and if you remember if we go into this is where our to do folder is and then we go in the data and there's our to do dat that's our database okay so we're connecting to the database and we're going cur equals con cursor okay so that's our cursor record rec equals so c u r as in cursor execute that and then we go insert 
into to do values values null that's our ID and then we go question mark that's for the uh, the name that's our task next question mark is description and then the next one question mark is our date and time okay we put a comma there parentheses and in the parentheses we go to do title one there to do description to do date time and these are the variables to do title to do description they're actually strings and that is our date and time now and we insert that okay so that you notice the two red parentheses that's closing off that parentheses there so now we have inserted the record and then we go con commit so that will then insert and commit uh, that data into the database and then once we've done that we go rows Uh, no, I won't do that yet. Um, right, rows equals execute select start, which is all from do order by date time ascending okay um, then we go uh, return templates and then that template is index template tpl tpl comma rows equals rows backspace four spaces else return template Ta new task dot tpl okay so that is our new function okay so we have request post save We've got a double space there I believe that will be stripping the new lines at the end uh, you get the variables request get the variable tasks get the variable for description get the date and time right now connect to the database the cursor so you are as our cursor 
record equals execute insert into to do values that's ID as auto incrementer that is our name or title the title description the date and time insert that into the database then we can commit which tells us to commit it to the or insert it into the database without that commit it won't insert it then we request the rows equals select everything from to do and order must be by the date and time uh, rather than what the task is and then return index template and display all the rows or if that doesn't happen if it's not a post return to the template new task okay so I'll leave that as it is so far because we have two things that we're actually doing we're creating a new task and then once we have inserted that task in the database we want to display it in the index template okay so I'll leave the tutorial at this and then the fun start will begin where we change add some code to our index template which we have already made and we'll also create a new template called new task with a form in it and then we'll see how we go from that with the next tutorial okay if you have any questions or you want to make a comment uh, about the tutorial this particular tutorial leave a comment in the where the video is on YouTube leave a comment there and uh, I'll, I will return a reply with a comment as soon as possible Re reply to your questions and thank you for your comments uh, please subscribe to the channel there should be a link on the video that you can just click and it will subscribe you to my YouTube channel uh, so till the next tutorial hope you are enjoying these tutorials uh, looking forward to the next one goodbye